Hi there, this is your reading with me Gemini for July, August and September 2021. We are going to have a look and see what is coming through for each of the months for you. We're also going to get a runes message as well which I'm so excited about because runes carry so much history and I mean it's going to be awesome, it's going to be exciting to see what kind of comes through. Um, so let's have a look and see. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. I literally have the cards right here as well. But before I get started, I just wanted to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, they are on my website. They're also down below as well. They are same day readings, which means you would get them within 12 to 24 hours. They're done with me. And uh, yeah, all the information's down below. And the last thing I wanted to mention is that on my website, there are intention manifesting items, which so many people have seen results with in their life. And you can check out the five star reviews down below on my website. And of course, there are handmade bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, your wallet, or your purse, which are hand embroidered by me. There's also intention pouches as well which again, many have seen results with. There's also divination coins, charms, pendulums, etc. Everything's meditated with and sage. It's sent from me to you. So it is very personal, but at the same time, a lot of people have seen results with them. Over a thousand five-star reviews. I really am very, very proud <laughs> of, of how much effort I can put into things. <laughs> so let's have a look, Gemini, and see. So we're gonna do four cards for each month. So we start first of all with July. All right, let's have a look and see what July is bringing you. Ooh, a new chapter. It's like a, a restart in life, to be honest. Especially, wait, hold on, let me finish shuffling. Okay, especially, especially if you have struggled so much in your life or in love or in your career, there is a new chapter that's unfolding in July where... It's almost like you have the power in your own hands, you know that you are the creator of the things that manifest for you in your life, you have power, you have stability, you have the ability, wow that rhymed, very poetic right, but this is about also like a spontaneous kind of energy where you may feel very spontaneous uh, in regards to getting things done, you feel like you have more energy, you may think to yourself, you know what, today I'm going to do this, or today I'm I'm going to go here, or tomorrow, I'm going to go over there and do that particular thing. You know, it's this very spontaneous energy where I don't really feel like in July you have a ton of things planned, but it's more so you're relying on your gut, your intuition, sort of the spontaneous energy, having fun with it. You know, that's that kind of vibe that I see as well, and, and new chapters. So there may be new things, for example, that appear in July. For example, you may have new clothes and be very excited about it. You may have a new job. You may have a new um, thing that you're focusing on. This is a month of newness, which I think is interesting. So keep in mind, it's going to be different for everyone, but I see newness. Okay, we also have here, actually speaking of like that sort of relying on your gut and intuition, we have got the high priestess, right? So this is really coming from your soul, where you feel very, very connected to the things around you. Page of Pentacles shows um, a trustworthy person around you who just kind of makes you feel really really good keep in mind I said trustworthy okay but this person really has your back has your best interest is always trying to guide you to just take care of yourself look after yourself make the best decisions for yourself could be a mentor could be a guru heck it could even be a tarot reader right um but it could definitely be a friend, for example. I'm fully aware that not everybody does have friends, you know, it's one of those things. So it can be, you know, like a guru or a mentor as well. But there's definitely someone here that just wants the absolute best for you. And they're trying to just tell you like, hey, look after yourself, like make sure, I don't know, you drink enough water. <laughs> you know, they just really do have your back and they really care about your health and your well-being. And they will absolutely tell you when they feel like someone is treating you terribly. They'll say, they'll say it, okay, and you might even think to yourself, like, nah, I know what I'm doing, but, like, they really, really can feel things too, they just don't want you to be hurt, and then the Eight of Wands here shows, that, again, there is lots of movement, there's progression, there's you doing a lot of things, but it's very spontaneous, right, again, nothing's planned, which doesn't mean that there's nothing happening, it's just that there's unplanned things happening, right, okay, so let's go to the Rune for July, they're in here, they're um, green aventurine runes, as you can see, so it's actually on a crystal. So we have this one right here. All right, so what we have is 
So this one actually is Ancestor. Hold on a second. No, it's not. One second. Here we go. This one actually is, um, actually it's interesting I meant um, like said ancestor as well because I do feel like your ancestors are trying to support you and be there for you. There's definitely this energy here of like people wanting to support you and be there for you. So this one actually is about um, wealth. So this one is Fehu and uh, represents value, wealth, power and prosperity which is exactly what we see here. Like you have so much power to get things done. There seems to be an opportunity like I did say for some of you, you may have a new job, things like that. So there can also be money as well, money opportunities that are manifesting for you. But there's so much more value also within yourself. Like you're valuing yourself, the things that you want to do right rather than what people are just telling you you should be doing i mean you better be prepared for be prepared for this there's a lot happening in july you know august okay august so you got the six of pentacles hermit because of course august carries virgo season so there we are of course you've got the two of cups as well Hanged man. Again, Pisces energy, okay? So you've got double Pisces energy here and here. So it's actually Neptune as well. Um, so, oh gosh, this is such a beautiful coloration. Um, anyways, <laughs> I just, I'm just thinking. So six of pentacles here shows money opportunities. I also see here as well that people can be so much more, um, you know, I, I can't describe it except for sort of giving you an example. You know, say for example, you have food in front of you and there's only like one slice left and you may say to the other person like, oh, you can have it. But I feel like people will be towards you in the sense that they would say to you, oh no, but you can have it. Absolutely. Go for it. You know, have it. Take it. It's, it's yours. You know, I just feel like people will be in that kind of energy. Like they won't be so self-absorbed around you. I mean, even though it's not really a self-absorbed thing, you know what I mean? I'm trying to give you an example, but obviously like a slice of whatever food it is, isn't exactly the best example. You know how sometimes people just want certain projects to themselves or they want certain things to themselves and they just don't want to compromise. I think that's a better way of putting it is that people will be so much more likely to want to compromise with you, but also to give you opportunities and to also give you what you want, if that makes sense. So I think that it's one of those things where it's a little hard for me to describe as you meant, as I mentioned, but they would just be more willing to give. And I also feel here as well that you will just have so much appreciation within yourself. I mean, it can happen that, you know, you are sitting there and you order food with someone or a group of people and there's just a little bit of food left and, you know, they're like, you yeah, know, you can have it, you know, <laughs> things like that. Um, whereas they may not usually always do that. You know, it's, it's one of those things. It's one of those things. Um, but that's what I'm seeing with the Six of Pentacles. So it's that sense of balance, really. But um, people are so much more prone to being nicer to you in August, which is something I see. And also Mercury enters Virgo as well. I think that's important to keep in mind because the home sign of Virgo is also Mercury. And then on the 22nd, the sun goes into Virgo because we've got Virgo season. Virgo energy is probably the most dominant, I would say, this August. Because remember, astrological transitions, changes, they're very different year on year as well. Um, so obviously, August does have Leo season, but all I keep freaking seeing is Virgos, okay? So <laughs> I just keep seeing Virgos. What, what can I do, you know? Um, so there can also be a, a Virgo here that um, is quite, you know, um, not productive towards you, but quite giving towards you. And that's what we're seeing. And the Two of Cups here is that sort of equal balance and sort of things coming together in a very healthy way. Um, there can also be a lover here who is wanting to give you so much more. So it can also be commitment. And again, them wanting to compromise and give you what you really need. The Hermit is also about you having lots of understandings. So you may also, um, some certain spotlights may sort of come on in regards to health and um, certain spotlights in regards to hobby and work where you have these realizations like oh I should probably work on this or oh my hair is a little weak maybe I should take more care of it or wow my nails are really brittle maybe I'll just give it a break and not do as many I don't know treatments or whatever you know it's, it's one of those things where it's different for everyone but 
I just see that there will be a spotlight on things or some of you might think to yourself like, oh, you know, I'm eating a lot of junk food right now. Like maybe I'll just scale it back a bit. <laughs> things like that where you might just have like a bit of a spotlight and you might have that sort of lamp that's just turned on on those particular aspects. And so that's sort of the sun entering Virgo kind of energy. And then the hanged man is you becoming very enlightened and trying to do the best you can for yourself and those particular aspects, if that makes sense. So it's really what August is about. Is it's sort of going deep within, but also kind of getting back what you have wanted and people also being compromised um, people compromising you know as well towards you not just you doing it all because I do feel like you are someone who does compromise with people but they don't always do it back the rune is this one okay so this rune is called well it's called la goose and it's water okay so we do have that water energy right here because you've got that sort of pisces energy two of cups energy and it actually represents justice which i think is really interesting because you have got the scales here so you're giving right you put one thing on one side of scale it reflects back on the other side something happens obviously so it just goes to show here that you are still following your intuition throughout the course of august that hasn't gone anywhere because you see that right here you're going with the flow you're allowing people to be much more um themselves and just letting them do whatever they want. I don't think you're forcing anyone to do anything necessarily, but I do feel here that justice gets served and there's so much more balance where people are much kinder towards you. Say, for example, you've always been so kind to people around you and they've never really cared. Well, they will care in August. That's all I'm going to say. You know, they really will care. Also, when the sun goes into Virgo, people think a lot more. They go a little bit more in depth than what they would usually go in because it's a very very analytical sign technically you know libra is also a very analytical sign but hey virgo comes first and it really does trigger them you know um because it's sort of about going inwards and having those thoughts and then libra season comes and then you sort of decode everything you know like a lawyer would perhaps there's some like court issues or law or contract things that sort of get resolved here as well so i didn't mention that Okay, so now we go to September, where actually, interestingly, you do have Virgo season, but you also have Libra season. I'm sorry. Any Leos watching this, because remember, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, <laughs> Rising, and Venus signs. Any Leo seeing this, I know you're probably like, wow, you didn't even mention us once, but you mentioned every single other <laughs> season possible, except for us. I apologize. It just didn't really come through. Okay, um, so we go to September. And we have, in September, do, 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 we have a bonus card, Chariot. Well, actually, hold on, let me do this first. Um, Ace of Wands, Knight of Swords, Chariot. Okay, well, there you are, Leo, okay? We just had to give you a bit of like wh what we were missing and that was clearly the Leo energy. Um, two of Wands. It really came out in September though, which is a little bit delayed. Delayed, right? A little bit. You know what um, Sun and Leo means? It basically means here that um, it's creativity, it's fun, it's confidence, which still comes through in July, but I feel like more of that creativity, confidence, fun actually goes also into September so it's almost like you get some of that in July but not to the full level that you want it at if that makes any sense you have so much more creativity fun excitement joy in September so it's almost like Leo season got slightly like one third of it gets a bit more delayed towards September so you get the full effect of it in September which is I know a bizarre way to describe it but hey look the ace of wands here shows that in September you are going to feel so creative okay some of you might be experimenting well with your nails you might be experimenting with um painting drawing crafting sewing decorating a lot of creativity you might even be making your own items and selling it because there's definitely a vibe that i get there or a service right like where you're kind of doing things for people but um the knight of swords here shows that there's a lot of progression like you're moving a lot faster than any other month in september okay so september is the fastest moving month 
hands down, okay, faster than, yes, we have the Eight of Wands here, but faster than that, okay, because that's also Knight of Swords, again, more of that Leo energy comes through in September, so there's so much creativity, there's a lot of strength, there's a lot of courage, you're going to feel like you can get things done, there are some wonderful opportunities here, especially with Chariot, people are much more mutual towards you, much kinder towards you, much more progressive towards you, Two of Wands also shows a lot of balance, and there could be a trip or a journey that you also take here as well. I feel like this was more so about kind of the things that you're going to be doing. We also do have a Mercury retrograde in September. So what this is basically telling you is don't always rely on others. Rely on yourself and watch the magic of the universe lead you to the things that you really need. Um, you know, don't try to fit in either. That's also a really big message of the Mercury retrograde happening on the 27th of September. It's really telling you to live and do the things that you love to do creatively, socially, mentally, emotionally, and to put yourself on the forefront. That's the biggest message I can give you for September, and that allows things to really move very, very fast. Okay, your rune message. Is this one? All right, you know what this is? This is hail. Um, so this actually means um, Hagen Laws, Hagen Laws, yeah. That's probably said that wrong, but you know, uh, I tried. <laughs> so it represents change, transitions, awakening, rising, okay, creativity, and it also showcases like amazing, amazing strength and courage, which is exactly what we have on the cards. So the runes are on point here. I mean, prepare yourself, Gemini, there's so much coming to the point where like, you know, obviously we saw there's like a lot here, but uh, it's good, you know, it's good to see, to be honest. So that is what we have here. I really hope this helped you and gave you tons of clarity, information, knowledge, you know, really helped you in your path, etc. Yeah, I really, really do hope this helped you a ton. Um, take care, right? And don't forget that uh, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. Take care, everyone. And yeah, I'll see you all very soon. <laughs> Bye.